Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Nasreen and today we're gonna to be cutting and installing Hardy Backer in this bathroom. I'm really excited to show you this new tool I got. It's called the Snapper Shear Pro. It only costs a hundred bucks and it makes cutting Hardy Backer super easy. I love this tool. I'm using quarter inch Hardy Backer. First, I'm gonna take some measurements, then I'm gonna head outside and cut it up. An easy way to get your measurement for the flange is to get a piece of cardboard and lay it over it and cut your circle like I did. Then you get your piece of cardboard and lay it on your hardy backer, line it up, and draw your circle. Also, make sure to vacuum the floor before you lay your hardy backer down, which I already did. Check. First, I'm gonna drill a couple holes. It's a nice circle. You see how easy the Snapper Shear Pro made that circle? This thing is wonderful. Now I'm gonna cut this little hole out. All right, I have all the hardy backer cut. Now it's time to mix the thin set. You want to put the water in first. That way it doesn't stick to the bottom so bad. And then your mortar. These bags are so heavy. I need to work out a little more to pick up those bags. Okay. You always want to start slow and hold on to your bucket. We want it to a pancake batter consistency. Right now it looks like syrup. I'm gonna mix it for three minutes, let it sit for five, and then mix it for one more. That's what the bag says to do. I'm just mixing it for the last minute. I'm using a 1 4 by 1 4 notch trowel. And what you wanna do is pick it up with the flat side and lay it down. Get enough on there to spread out. Spread it out. And remember you want the thin set to a pancake batter consistency under the hardy backer. And then you use the notch side to make your grooves. Hold it at a 45 degree angle. And you can put the mud back in, reuse it. And you want all the grooves going in the same direction. I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy during this corona outbreak. I've been doing a lot of overtime. They need so much help at work. So I'm trying to do my part. I haven't been able to do any videos lately. So it feels so good to get back in here and get some stuff done. All right, let's make some grooves here. 45 degree angle, grooves going in the same direction.
All right, it's ready to lay the hardy backer. See these two holes in the walls? That was an accident, I did that. I grabbed the handle of the mixer and the power was on and I just completely spaced it and it turned and it made a hole in the wall. It was, oh, I made a hole in the wall. Dang it. But it's an easy fix, so that's a good thing. Just be careful with that. It's always good to lay the thin set down under the hardy backer because it helps stabilize the floor, especially if it's an older floor. I know someone that didn't use the thin set under the hardy backer and it's creaking all over the place. Every time you walk on it, creak, 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 and the grout is falling apart. All right, first piece of hardy backer going down. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna drill the hardy backer down with these one and a quarter inch cement board screws. You wanna make sure your screws are at least three fourths from the edge and two inches from the corner and eight inches apart. And hardy backer makes it really nice because they have these preset markings on there. It's better to use an impact drill rather than a normal drill because the screws sink in a lot easier. It's also a lot better to use the star bit screws rather than the Phillips screws because the star bit screws don't strip as much. And you don't have to, but if you're having a hard time getting your screw started, you can pre-drill your holes. There. Just spread it out evenly. It's so nice to be able to tile your own floors and not have to pay someone to do it. And it's really not that hard. It's just figuring out how to do it. And that's what I'm gonna show you. You can also just pour some out on the floor. Makes it a little easier than dipping in the bucket every time. And then just spread it out. I'm trying not to scrape the shower. Brand new shower. Just work it down. Next piece. Push it a little bit here. Make sure you have a 1 8 inch gap in between the boards. And you can even use a spacer for that. Bam! Pre-drilling some holes. Now we'll get our screws in there. This drill is so much better than using the other drill. I was stripping the screws. This one is way better. It's so much easier with your pre-drilled holes, I'm telling you. Yeah! When you drill your screws in, you want them to be nice and flush. You don't want to sink them in too far. Now to screw it in.
Okay. Last piece of hardy backer. And it is a perfect fit, ladies and gentlemen. Bam! I got my hardy backer down. Now I'm gonna mix the mud and tape the joints. To tape the joints, I'm using this two inch self-adhesive alkaline resistant fiberglass tape. If you don't use this tape, there's a much higher chance your tile will crack along the joints. You just tape right over the joint line. And it sticks on really good. You want your joint line in the middle of the tape. This stuff is super easy to put on. Then you just cut it at the end and you got it on there. Next, I'm gonna lay the thin set over the tape and smooth it out. And you want it to be thin, you don't want it to be thick. Make sure you press it in hard enough that it fills in all the grooves. Okay, just a little piece left here. That line is done. Push it into the gaps and then smooth it out. Tomorrow I go back to being a nurse and it's a lot different with this COVID stuff going on. I have to fill out a form, take my temperature every day, go through a special door, change my scrubs into scrubs that they supply. It's a lot different now. Wear a mask all day for 12 hours. Whew, that's not easy. I hope this ends soon. I miss my family. I miss get togethers. I miss going places, shopping, shopping. I haven't been able to shop in forever. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Next, I'm gonna tile the floor. So stay tuned.